everyone! Welcome to the channel dedicated to sharing the profound insights and wisdom of Andromedan contactee Alex Collier. If you're new here, you're in for a journey that expands your mind and consciousness, bringing you closer to understanding the messages from the fifth density Andromedan extraterrestrials. For those returning, we're grateful for your continued support. Before we dive into today's enlightening content, we have a small favor to ask. If you find value in the knowledge shared in this video, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the bell icon so you never miss an update. Your engagement helps us amplify Alex Collier's message, allowing us to reach a larger audience with these vital messages. We'd also love to hear from you, so please engage with the comments below. Whether it's a question, your thoughts, or even just an emoji for the sake of engagement, every comment counts. We read every single comment, and your feedback is incredibly valuable to us. Additionally, if you'd like to support us further, consider giving a super thanks tip by clicking the heart with the dollar sign. This small gesture allows us to continue bringing you more of Alex's messages, unfiltered and directly from his lifelong experiences with the Andromedans. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy today's video. You mentioned from a friend, you mentioned that most of our food, water is a great issue at the moment. But when do you see our food production and normal drinking water actually be helpful to mankind? Is this happening now or during the final takedown of the cabal? Because these cookies still taste bad. I think it, you know, I, I cannot speak for all the goings on behind the scenes. You know, the most important threats are being dealt with. Um, the food processing plants, the burning down of food processing plants. Um, there's a part of me that does not think that's an accident. Um, the water supply, the first thing every municipality has to do is, uh, is, is stop putting fluoride in the water. That's the first thing they need to do. There are, is technology, technology that has been classified that can totally purify all of every city's drinking water. I mean, clean it to where there's nothing in it, not chemicals, not pharmaceuticals, nothing. It can all be purified. There are many things that have to occur. Can it happen? Yes. And I believe it will in the next five to seven years. All of these systems will be dealt with, but it'll be dealt with on a local level. And I also believe that our food supply is going to go from being corporately controlled to being community controlled. Now, in the areas that experience a weather, a deep weather, um, there are systems that can be created to grow food underground or very specific greenhouses that can survive a growing season um, indoors. There are systems where you can grow food in your own home. Towers, we've seen them, you know, that grow all kinds of food. This can be done. When the electrical grid is taken down and we have the Tesla energy, um, the ether that he referred to, the, the Earth's energy system, the ether system, and we're on that system, whether it be 10 years, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, and there is no limitation on energy whatsoever, it'll be very, very easy for people to do that. On a community level, um, and I've talked about this before, um, pick a golf course and make that a community farm. And each fairway grow something, you know, uh, just do it this way, that, you know, and if you want food from it, you contribute some time and some hours, you know, and then you get, you get your share of vegetables 
you know, you can do that. We all can do that. Uh, farmers, you know, this is what I would do is okay. If you want to start a farm, great. You pay no income tax whatsoever, no state tax, but you are required to produce this much food. If you continue to do that, whatever you get for it is yours. No taxes at all. That's what I would do because farming's hard work. It's dedicated work. And those who work for you that are on the farms, they don't pay any taxes either. They don't pay any sales tax. You get, you get a card and it says, you know, I'm a farmer. I'm registered as a farmer. I don't pay any state tax, any sales tax, you know, federal. No, there won't be a federal tax. That's going to go away for sure. Um, that's what I would do. And it would encourage everyone to do that. Um, for communities that grow food, take over one or two golf courses or whatever they have to do, the idea is to grow food so no one starves. Good food, healthy food. Uh, you create incentives. Um, federal money, st state money. Um, will go into those areas to build, to renovate housing, to renovate neighborhoods, um, to build better libraries, new schools. You know, uh, there's all kinds of things that can be done on a local level. And what it's going to take is you, the individuals, to go in and take over your communities, to take over, get rid of, kick out the professional politicians those that have been arrested for graft and theft and, you know, treason, sedition, and being on the take, you going in and replacing it and saying, okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to do this for the benefit of everybody in the community. Everybody wins. And that's the mindset you got to have. That's the mindset. There's all kinds of ways to do this. There's no limits to our creativity. None. Um, put home ec back into schools, except have this, these kids have a garden on the school campus where they grow the food. And in the mornings they come in, they, they pick the vegetables. And what they do is, is they, they cook, I mean, I, I, you know, I used to have home ec first period. I would go in and, you know, I would cook my own breakfast. It was awesome. You know, and that's one of the places I learned to, to do some things, you know, as well as at home, you know, and, and teach these kids how to cook, both men and, and men and girls, how to cook and, and have them cook, you know, meals for their classes. You know, get everybody involved in 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 investing our own time and energy in our own nutrition, educating people what it's like to eat real food, to grow real food. Because what's gonna happen is your body's gonna get nutrition, you're gonna be sick less, you're gonna be stronger, you're gonna live longer. It's a positive no matter how you look at it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you found it insightful, please like the video and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss out on future updates. If you have any questions relating to today's video, please also leave them below. We read all the comments and take on board what our viewers have to say about Alex Collier's work. Remember, your support helps Alex Collier's knowledge and the messages from the Andromedans reach more people. If you'd like to support the channel even more, you can give us a super thanks tip by clicking the heart icon with a dollar sign. It really helps our team bring you more content. Also, be sure to visit alexcollier.org to sign up for our regular email newsletter. It's the best way to stay updated with the latest news, exclusive content, and upcoming live webinars. For the latest insights from Alex Collier, check out alexcollier.live. 
And if you want to explore over 250 past webinars, head over to alexcollier.tv. Thank you for being a part of this journey and supporting Alex Collier's work. We couldn't do this without you, and we're genuinely grateful for your support. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the vast mysteries of our universe. If you would like to see the Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live online seminar every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information on upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org.